Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And in the last episode, we just did some design work. So hopefully that was interesting for you guys. But we have got our jump ship. And I haven't really named it anything special except for just calling it the jump ship. And I still have to figure something out for it. But what we need to do is prep an area for it to be constructed from. Because at the moment, we don't really have a good spot to do that. And so, hence, we need to do that. So we're just outside of our base here. And I tried, we got a sunrise, just like our old style. When we come out of our base and every single episode started with us looking towards the sunrise. That's the best we can do with our asteroid base here. Now, the idea being, we have the base back in there. We have our beam connecting it out here. What I want to do is, from here, we're going to split off, do a little offshoot, and then add a whole bunch of building repairs outside so that we can have them being accessed with the assembler and the refinery inside and that we can use them to uh, build some wonderfulness. So I think what I want to do is pull the prospector off for the moment and we should have more than enough uh, in inventory on the main base, right? Uh, small cargo main base has what? this just has a whole bunch of ice why do I have so much ice on this ship? I must have gone ice mining alright, I did go ice mining um, a little bit of gold there, how about refinery? refinery on the other side tons of materials, alright, so I have more than enough to do this building so we'll detach from here We'll back on off, and we are going to go and grab one of, actually also I want to take the build and repair here for the prospector and turn it off. I don't want the prospector to be doing stuff. Well, we'll, we'll need the prospector for something else here in the future, as there's multiple upgrades that we need to do to the base in order to get this jump drive functioning. Uh, for now, we're just going to be having the base be like this just just the hangar bay as it's functional for me i really do need to uh expand out into this space eventually but i kind of want to get this jump ship done first so we can get some money because i like money all right so i need to grab a little hauler probably what would be the best thing probably the jump jack would have the most oomph when it comes to moving stuff around and it's the one that's kind of in the way here anyway so let's move it on outside my good old jump jack so the idea being that we are going to take this thing here which if I'm not mistaken this should be the right way up if I take a look on the inside yep that's the right way up just how I'm looking at it and we're going to grind this off, extend this out a little bit, and then add a junction to it so that I can uh, push it off to the side. So, align ourselves. Not connecting through the connectors, but connecting through the, uh, the landing gear. Because if I do through connector, the instant I disconnect it from the base by grinding it off, it will run out of power and disconnect anyway. So... We will grab that with our landing gear. And now we can whip out this, do the slash, got slash detach. And where do I want to detach this? Probably right out here at the connector. There we go. Pull that away from us. We'll just go straight up. And now we have the ability to 
put some more conveyors over here. Uh, we're gonna need interior plates. Oh right, the, the Kopesh has build and repair, so it's gonna do this building for us as well. I keep forgetting, like, all my ship now is have build and repairs, and it's so, uh, so wonderful. Uh, into your plates, please. Uh, make me some of them. Just so that I can access them, and I believe I can get them through the bottom connector. Excellent. Do you not have things for plates? Ah, yes you do. There we go. So, 29 plates should be more than enough for me to lay some of this groundwork out here. So this is up and down for my base. If I confirm that, yep, I should be, yep, up and down. At some point, I think I want to push a, um, a hallway out here. Like take this hallway right here and push it all the way out. Maybe have a, a tram system or something. I don't know, it's a bit long of a walk. But I could have a, um, some kind of something there, and then have a control, um, landing, docking port sort of thing. Because you like how on this ship, when you dock up, you can pretty much walk from on top of the connector into the ship. And so when you're docked, you could like get out of the ship and then just walk right into the base. I kind of want to have that along here with just a few connectors for larger ships. So what I'm thinking is we'll put a conveyor junction right here. That will connect up to the junction. And from there, I'm thinking how many tubes? We want this to be far enough that the prospector can sit there and then the kopesh could attach on the other side as well as us to um put some building repairs here for uh for building mm, how far do i want to push this out maybe like 10 blocks let's let's see how far that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in total A 10 block width there Hmm. Maybe this would be a good spot for another junction. And then we can push out even further if you want to. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And another junction. And at this point, even we could have a, a connection on this on this angle, which would have a nice big spot here for uh, somebody to park. But then this is going to give us some more space to work with. We'll get the advanced welding pad. Uh, it needs construction components. Uh, you should be able to build me some construction components. Production components, please. Thank you. you are, you've actually already had some components, so that is fine. And then we can throw welding pads onto there and there. Uh, yeah, that should be work. That should work out quite nicely. So I'm thinking... Connector over here, like that. And then maybe at this middle one, this is where our build and repairs are going to be for this area. So we'll take a build and repair. It doesn't have connections on all, f all of its sides, but we can put a build and repair right there and right here. And we can have a pair of building repairs with a projector on top of one and a beam of uh, um, light armor blocks going out to then build a projection of some kind if I want to. And hopefully this should be wide enough for this to work. Uh, so let's grab some steel plates. There should be plenty in here because I was using them as extras for uh, if I needed any repairs. Yep, plenty of steel plates. Excellent. You should get welded up if you get a computer. Okay, two computers, two computers. Let's get that welded back into place here before I put the other stuff in. Uh, computer. Make me a couple computers, please. Thank you. 
Oh, Kopesh, you're so useful. Now let's weld that up. And weld you up. And then we can slide this back down into position. Welded. Easy peasy. Oh, shit. I put a conveyor. I put a sorter there? Why did I put a sorter there? I put a junction there. That's a junction. How did that turn into a sorter? Uh, shit. I, I guess I screwed that up. I have no idea how that was a sorter. It's because of the probably because of this new um new thing here where they're like conveyor sorter and junction are right beside each other. <laughs> I made a mistake. Ugh, we're gonna lose some materials doing this because we're gonna have to grind that down. And oh crap, that means the whole thing. No. Okay, this is bad. I'm gonna have to cut this p whole arm off. And then I'm going to have to reconnect it. Oh my god. This is annoying. But I can save this. I won't have to grind this down and replace it. What I'll do is I'll detach here. Uh, oh, I need another ship out here to, uh, to do this all. Yeah, I need another ship. Another little ship. Where's my entrance? There it is. I need more ships to be tugs to hold stuff. Come here, mining ship. You guys have landing gear? You do. You're a little annoying. We'll, we'll grab this guy. He's got he's got a landing gear. Boop. And come on, cargo shuttle. You are needed to do more things than just cargo. Do, do, do. I need to get that chair out of the way. And also reposition that um, projector eventually in there. Oh, I could take that projector and then move it out here. Ah, that's what I could do. Alright, so what this guy needs to do is he needs to hold this in position right here. Because that's going to be his job. Because when I detach this, I don't want this floating away. <laughs> and park up there. Although I believe he'll unpark the moment I detach this. So then, detach. Aim at the block. De grind it down a little bit. Come on. I guess I'm... Okay. I guess I'm just taking it off then. He'll hold that. I'm going to move out. Oh! <laughs> right, I don't need to do that because this is a unsupported grid. If if I didn't have that turned on, this would have turned into a large ship grid and would have been like floating in space, but it's not. So I can just cut this off because that needs to be removed. Can you go up and down here? Nope. It's because all this stuff is unsupported. I had, here's me planning all this stuff out, thinking that I would be able to need to do this. But this is silly. I'm going to turn that off so that these are unsupported grids. We'll be right back. All right, loading back in here. So there is that option here. This connector's got ice into it. We're going to convert this to a ship. So that way this can move now. Ha <laughs> ha And I should be able to do the same thing here, but there isn't a terminal for me to access. I could just throw a panel onto it in order to access it, but I could also just throw a connector onto it. And probably the easiest and fastest way. I want a connector facing this way. And let's go bring the prospector over with his build and repair to, uh, to work on it. <laughs> uh, 
do do da day. Uh, on. There we go. Very good. Alright, so that's welding up. We'll get this connector here built up. Yeah. I, I like this, um... I like that setting off. Unsupported stations are nice, so that way you can just, like, have something, f like, floating in space without having to worry about, like, station keeping on it, where you have thrusters to keep it in the spot, or just, like, especially if you have a server, and you, like, from my limited experience with the server, it just, it's less calculations on the server. But if I'm on a single player world, and I thought about this kind of stuff, Oh, thinking, oh, I'm going to have to have another ship out here to hold this up and such. By Jove, I'm going to I'm gonna do that. And I don't know if this has the materials. Do you have the materials to do this? Or are you, like, out? Inventory. You should have all of the things. Uh, build and repair, programmable block, is broken? Come on, check code. Okay. Come on, build and repair. There ya go. Now you're building shit. Excellent. So, while that's doing that, I can at least do this. So, conveyor junction. That is correct. And I can move up a little bit more to have a bit more space. Get the welding pads back on here. I need more construction components because I'm out of those. Ugh, all these resources I'm wasting. It's silly. Production. Give me construction components. Please. Yeah, just a few of them will be fine. As I just need one to place it. There we go. And... You are almost built up. Oh, just get this thing to functional already. Oh well. That's a junction. That is correct. Oh, and you were built up already. Weld pad. Uh, weld pad. Excellent. So we can hop back into this thing and again go and weld it up. And unconnect. And there we go. Now this should be good. You are building, yes? Or did you or did your programmable block do the same thing? Build and repair. Programmable block, where is it? <laughs> Self repair. Where are your programmable blocks again? Oh, I always have to like turn on the um, ah, building power. LCD not found, exception. Yeah, it broke again. Check code. For some reason, build and repair wants to break for all of my stuff. Exit. Alright, so that's good. Now this has finished. Excellent. So I can go to this, I can convert it to a ship. And I can take this and slide this away a little bit so I have enough room to put the weld pads here which I need more construction components for ah so many materials that are required component hey it's just construction comps not even construction components just comps well weld pad there and that'll get built up real quick we want one more tube here which we need an interior plate for God, I'm, I'm never going to have all the stuff I need on hand uh, plates nope, need to make some of those but we can because we have lots of stuff thank you there we 
go. So we can slap one more interior plate there. There's that weld thing. We got this weld thing. And then once those are back together, we can slap them back together. Like it is split. And we're wonderful. Alright, that's built up. Jump in here. And we just slide left that ever a little bit. And these should weld back together. Boom. Welded. We'll unlock from there. And cargo shuttle did its work. Thank you, little cargo shuttle. Aha! So that is how you can save your building. And expand your stuff. Excellent. Uh, do I have... No, I pressed the wrong button. Microphone accessed. Yes, Steam Bootstrapper client accessed my microphone. I know. Stop telling me that. Let's grab uh, some steel plates. And uh, slap build and repair on either side of that. And we'll put a couple armor blocks going out. And then let's go get that um, projector and carry it out here. Probably we'll take this back inside. And then we'll come back out and grab the jump jack to uh, go grab it with. Or I wonder, this might be the better thing. Now, nah, this thing's. Well, this thing is smaller, it's got less. Um, thrust so it'd be a little bit weaker to uh to work with here and it's got it's nice little parking spot here which i mean eventually i'll have to <laughs> get this thing a way better parking spot than what it is currently Fucking on the side of the construction materials here all right good so we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna get it out of there and we're also uh let's Let's decommission... Actually, no. Let's haul out this chair, too. We're going to remove all that stuff outside. It's going to be glorious. This is me on full... Uh, save as many resources as possible mode. Just because I can. Because <laughs> I want to do it. It's part of the series, man. The idea is to use the uh, scrap and such. It's to make building difficult and make it fun. Can I grab the chair though? Oh, I can. I can grab the chair. And now I should be able to detach the chair. Detach. Detrach. Detach. There we go. Grind below 82% to detach. Is that 80? There you go. We got it. When <laughs> we grab the seat, we're out of here. We're full on salvaging this. And. Do I still have components? Good. I still have some, some construction components. I'm going to take this seat, and we're going to slap this seat directly on top of this build and repairs here. So that it can uh, be used to function like this uh, printer in the future. Uh, I am going to need to let go of the seat, spin around, and grab the seat again because I'm too fat to uh, hold it where it is. Because I, if I try to put it on in the right orientation, my ass will be into the wall. So let's back off. We'll come to a complete stop. I'll let it go. It's floating there in space. We'll do a 360, well, 360, a 180 here. And now we have to be super duper careful. 
Because if we bump this thing too hard, we could send it flying, and then we're going to have to go catch it. And that could be an absolute annoyance. And dun, dun, dun. Come on, ship. It's really slow on the rotation for some reason. My hand's hovering over P. The second I see yellow, I'm going to lock it up. Good. Grabbed it. Excellent. Dun, 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 da, 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 and we will hopefully not ram ourselves into the wall here. Oh yeah, we should have enough space. Boom. <laughs> Chair is salvaged. <laughs> Let's go get the projector. Uh... Alright, in we go. <laughs> I should... Oh, there is also a little ship. I might want to go get that. There is a little ship out there at one of the um, ship selling stations. I think I could actually go just buy it. It's specifically a tug. Like, it's just for doing this kind of thing. Uh, I could just go take the jump jack, and we could just go... Uh, uh, we could just blow it up, or at least blow up our tank. Oh my god, damn it. Okay, batteries survived, the rest of it survived, it's a couple armor pieces in the tank. The thing is still alive. <laughs> Somewhat, I need a steel plate. Wait, do I have a steel plate? I do have a steel plate. I just need to place it. Uh, oh, and my um, H2O2 generator is destroyed. There's a tank there. H2O2 generator. God damn it. Ah, god damn it. I still have gyro. I still have power. I'll just let that fix itself. God damn it. I'm just going to take the little fighter here. Because it has its jump drive. So I can go and get to a... Uh, a ship retailer qu quite quickly here. And hopefully not blow up anything else. Because... God damn it. Alright, jump drive, where are you? We want... Ship dealer. Can I jump to you? Can I jump in natural gravity field? Alright. Next ship dealer. How about the next ship dealer? Okay, that's impossible. There, are, I know at least one of those is um, not in a gravity field. That is annoying. But we're going to go there. We're going to get that stuff. Which GPS is here? Ship dealers. <sighs> we'll just do blind jumps then. Do a 30 kilometer blind jump here. That'll be good enough. Remove. Fair 40 ish kilometer blind jump. You gotta get me most of the way there. Zoop. And... Here we go. Now... I knew there was one in space! Which ship dealer is that? I'm, I'm gonna... I wanna mark that one. 
not that. Okay, it's not that one. And it is. It is that one. It's that second one there. This one is in space. Oh, uh, just dash S. That's fine. I know it is. So why can't I jump there? That is so annoying. Do -do. Ship dealer. This one. Eh, no oh well. Almost there. So yeah, there's this little ion tug that essentially just has a pair of uh, landing gear on the very front of it that just has a few ion engines and it's just, just a tiny little thing that uh, I can haul around stuff with. I think it'll be actually quite useful. So we can go grab that real quick here. Because why the hell not? Then we'll just attach it to this thing's roof and jump back with it, because we can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We should probably start slowing down. More than likely, as we are coming in quite hot here. Woo! Oh, jeez. Yep, we entered and left the safe zone. This is what I get for not, uh... Not figuring out my stopping distance. Holy crap, this thing has a bad stopping distance. I, I guess I'm used to running uh, all sorts of, like, light armor on ships and such like that. And this is my, you know, first real heavy armor ship that I've been using on a regular basis. And so, having these ginormous stop distances, I guess, are something I'm going to have to get used to with this. But, oh well. We're just about there. And coming in nice and controlled this time. I mean, I could have just aimed for the uh, station and crashed into it to stop. Which I might even do here. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. God damn it. I still hit it. Uh, at least there's no damage. Not like... <laughs> uh, not like with the jump jack. I'm so sorry, jump jack. I broke you. Uh, where is that little tug? I know it exists. Ion tug ship. Yes. That would be perfect for moving shit around my base buy it. Anything else I want here? No. Eventually we're going to buy a red cruiser because we can't. We're going to make we're going to make so much money with uh this jump ship when we're done it because these contracts, we got the haul contracts. Oh, they don't have it right now, but if we got those like 5 million haul contracts, all we have to do is just jump and come back. Mm. Easy. I'll get them done do one every few episodes because that'll probably be how long it takes to to recharge the ship and then everything will be be glorious uh groups let's get all these landing gear into a group uh, da, da, da. and a good question here we have a landing gear in the bottom as well uh we should figure out which one that is landing gear doesn't say Let's turn these two off. Those two are the front ones. Okay, so first two landing gear are front. So we'll go front landing. And bottom landing. And we should probably preface these with tug. So that uh, we can differentiate them in the future. There we go. And we, we can go and uh, put the connector on 9, like how I'd like it. Switch lock. And then for our groups, we've got the front switch lock. And then that will be there, switch lock. Excellent. 
Uh, auto, wait, no. Landing gear. We don't want the model lock. There we go. So now we can go and connect our little butt up here. Press 9. No, wait, press 8. All right, I can't lock here, because safe zone. I keep forgetting that so much. Safe zones will be the bane of me. Although I might want to put a safe zone in my um, my actual base, so I don't, blow <laughs> I don't blow up my own ships by accidentally uh, ramming into them. But, oh, we'll figure it out. Go and grab this little high on tug. And we'll just slap him on the side here. And there. And we'll go and jump our way back to base. Jump back to asteroid. Where it be? I need to so clean up this thing. Asteroid main base. There we go. And jump. Obstacle detected. Jump distance will be truncated. Uh. Huh? Obstacle detected. Maybe it's because of that thing? Let's just move away from it a bit. Can I jump now? Cannot be used to jump into a natural gravity field, but my base isn't in a natural gravity field. What? That's annoying. You can turn off your dampeners, please. Thank you. Oh, there, there we go. Now we can get home. We'll stop up, and we will jump. And take our little tug home. Come on, tug. Let's go. Zoop. And kilometer out. Not too shabby of a distance. <laughs> oh god, I gotta remember. This ship is heavy as shit. And I don't want to crash into stuff. Which, one of the things we're going to have to do, probably in a couple episodes from now, is we're going to have to take that solar array, and while it's functional for us now, we're going to have to make that massively larger. Like, way larger. Because there's no way that that solar array is going to be able to fully charge the um, whole thing that I'm going to try to do with the... Uh, like the whole jump ship system. Like the jump ship in its final design has like 24 batteries. And 15 drives. Like that's a lot of power that needs to be saved up in there to you know, be transferred every single time. So I'm going to need a giant battery bank at the base. I'm going to need a huge solar array to take up that uh, that stuff when it comes through. And you are now safely back to base. I'll lock down the fighter. Come on. Can I connect? Yes, I can. There we go. You're in position. Jump jack. Oh, uh, this is probably because this is this has gotta be borked too. Yeah. I don't know why. All of these uh building repair is borked. But now it should automatically start rebuilding that. Okay, that's fine. That's rebuilding. Uh give me some ice, please. Thank you. And I'll throw some ice in its connector. And it'll automatically refill itself once it's uh rebuilt. And then I can go park it. Ah, oh, the jump jack's getting a little bit of wear on it. But now we have a little ion tug. So let's go with our little ion tug. 
and grab that projector. God damn. Oh my god, I can't drive today. I'm crashing into everything. Ah, well, the connector will be repaired. <laughs> Uh, today is just me crashing into shit as I try to build stuff. That is the, uh, the story of my life. I just have to remember, my backwards thrust is horrible. I wonder if I can improve that. It's probably because I have four forwards and only two backwards that's really making me, giving me an issue. If I improved that backwards thrust, this would probably be a bit nicer. But at least the uh, connector absorbed the damage. Not really super important piece there. So I'm going to actually come around and get at it from this side for the lockup. Thankfully, the ship is small enough to do this. <laughs> Squeeze my way in here. Oh, perfect size. And grab it, and then we'll detach this. Detach. 67%. That's a lot. Oh shit, it's getting away from me. Got it. Okay, I got it. Alright, let's take it out. Come on, little tug ship. We'll upgrade you with some more ion thrusters here in the future. But for now, we're off to go and deliver a projector to the outside. As we'll put another projector, we'll put it up in that control room there that we've made. And we'll use that for the future in building the base. This one will be moved out here and will be designated as the, uh, the building projector. I think I'm going to slap it down. Can I put it down right on top of this build and repair? I wonder. I wonder. Oh, I don't have construction components. Why don't I have construction components? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Components! Comp? Yes, please. Thank you. Now, can I put it down on here? Looks like I can, so why not? <laughs> Just need a computer, which... Ah, everybody's supplying, thank you. Wonderful build and repairs. Getting that stuff set up. Now move this into position. Whoa! No, God, no! It's starting to build shit. No projector. Bad projector. <laughs> it was printing out the base. And it just immediately started building stuff. No, okay. Grind this down. Before. Before it builds anymore. Stop. Stop it already. Okay. Uh, we need to uh, turn off your guys' build and repairs so you stop building shit before I'm ready for it. Build and repair group. Oh, come on. Build and repair group off. And we'll go to you and turn off your build and repair group. Then I can access you through the turret here. Build and repair group off. And now we can play with this projection. So, projector right here. We're going to turn it on. And blueprint will go with the jump ship. And of course what we're going to need to do... Oh God, this like chair is wiggling for some reason. Why? Why am I wiggling? So we've got the jump ship there. That's how big it is. That's sort of its final design with a nice uh, thruster cluster at the back with some ions. So we're going to need to 
most likely rotate it this way so it's not going to take up as much room and slide it this way and we're going to have to reset all these things god damn but that's fine because there's all this stuff that needs to be reset that was controlling the base on these bars so we will set this projector to be a projector ship printer and now we can set back up the offsets and uh, the toggle block on off and then in the second thing we can set up the pitch and yawn rolls which we'll, we'll need as well increase roll decrease roll and now we can play with this so Ooh, right, because we already had these preset for the station, we should just go and reset them all to zero. Okay, so I when I blueprinted this, I blueprinted it from... Where did I blueprint it from? I blueprinted from the connector here. So let's flip it around, then... Wrong way there. We want it this way. Yeah, that's good. That gives me plenty of room on either side to connect my ships currently. Eh, the Kopesh would be able to... The Kopesh should be able to fit on this one, and then the, pr the Prospector could fit on that one as this thing is being built. So then I want to not move it that way, but slide it down a couple that and then out and now we can align it up and I believe we could do to like this corner right here that would work so that is the appropriate level that way so I'm done hitting three and four that should be good that way and then I just need to hit 6 until it's into position there. And that allows the first jump drive to be created. And then after that, it should be able to just build the rest of it from that position. Nice. So the giant jump ship is uh, ready to rock. I actually think I might push this out one more, though. Uh, six? No, five is the button I want to press. Just to give it a little bit more space here, we'll add a uh, couple light armor blocks, which I have no steel plates. Why do I have no steel plates? I always seem to run out of the component that I need right when I, uh, I need it. And slap a couple steel plates. That will light up. And now, we can add these guys right here. This build and repair system. To be ship printer. Build and repair base. We will be build and repair ship printer. And build and repair ship printer as well. And then we can go to build and repair group and add them to it. And turn them on. And now these guys should... Uh... Oh, right, they're so loud. I forgot to set their... I forgot to set their volume. 10%. Thank you. Nice. And we'll set these so that they don't take out enemy grids, because they will in this area, as a uh, grind of well good stuff. Yeah, perfect fly mode. Just how we want them. Because if an enemy flew in here, they have the range out into space that they would um, cut him up and take out his uh, stuff. So now... They should be yelling to the assembler, and the assembler is uh, doing its stuff. And now, 
we just need to get stuff for it. We need to get gold, we need to get platinum, we need to get all sorts of wonderful things for this to uh, build up. But we have started construction on the jump ship. And uh, the rest is... The rest is just getting resources, which will be the Prospector. And it's a important role here in the future. We'll just fly through the projection, because we still can. And we'll go and plug this guy in, so the base can use his uh, different resources while it's building. And connects. Wonderful. And the Kopesh can just sit there. It's fine. But yeah, we have a jump drive ship being made. Now this thing will literally be able to jump anywhere in this world. It has 30,000 kilometer range when fully charged. It has 20 something batteries, so it has enough to fully recharge and a bit. So you can jump anywhere and back and then we'll get back, plug in and recharge on the base. I had contemplated putting solar on this, but it just seems so inefficient when I'm just going to be coming back to the base anyway. And I already have a solar tower that is getting 100% solar all the time. So, the things I need to do for this ship here, for this construction, I need to get a whole bunch of more gold and resources to build all these jump drives. I need to expand this solar tower massively. Uh, my, uh, what do I have here? Th nine... In, in, on each sort of section. Ah, 30 something blocks? Yeah, 36 I believe is what I have here for um, for solar cells, solar, solar panels. Yeah, I'm going to have to probably go another out, so probably four and four, and then go like another two or three out massively increase this so I can have much more power intake so that when this jump ship does come back after jumping everywhere it gets fully recharged but yeah I think that's pretty much it let's go just go um, park up the uh, the jump jack and see if it's um, still broken hey jump jack you've had your repairs you are just missing a couple thrusters I will replace those but you are still alive. I'm sorry I, I rammed you into a ceiling. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Actually, it was my fault. I'm just bad at flying ships. As seen in this episode, I... <sighs> really? Oh, it's because these aren't functioning. My reverse thrust isn't functioning. Why are you not functioning? What is going on? Oh my god. I just crashed. I just crashed at the very end of the episode after talking about how bad I've been flying in this episode. Okay, screw this. That's the end of the episode. I can't handle this anymore. <laughs> I'm just a horrible flyer. I should take my wings away. Well, thanks for watching. And good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.